life is good. Life is good. You got to grab it. You got to squeeze it until the juice runs between your fingers. All right? Life is good. All right, here we go. Chapter 7. Ooh, ooh, chapter 7 is my... Okay, I, I can't say my favorite. And you know there's no textbook, right? You know, it's just like, eh, okay, I'm going to invent this stuff. But here's the deal, here's the deal. Chapter 3, how do we communicate with people that do not share our truth? That that really is a favorite of mine. It really is. It really is. It's like, can't we all, for the love of whoever your God is, get along? Can't we all, even though we share different truths? Boy, would that be nice. Boy, would that be nice in this world, okay? Ch chapter 7, another one of my favorites because it, it we, we, we're just going to put the brakes on interpersonal communication right now. We're going to stop that train. Okay, we're going to stop that train. And we are going to jump on a brand new track. We're going to jump on a brand new track. We're going to study intra intrapersonal communication for just a little while. I call chapter 7 the know yourself chapter. All right, know yourself. And then when we get to chapter 8 about self-disclosure, we're going to call that the show yourself chapter. Okay, chapter 7, know yourself. Know yourself. Chapter 8, whoa, show yourself. You don't even realize how important these two chapters are going to be to your future relationships or to your relationships right now. All right? All right. So let's study up. Let's study up. And today is going to be really simple and really quick. A couple of little things to think about. Think about. And that's going to be your assignment. Hey, think about this. All right? First of all, we'll drop in the definition now of intra personal communication. I'm going to show you that intrapersonal communication, intrapersonal communication, is the communication or the dialogue that we have with ourself, about ourself. All right, so this is the stuff that goes on in your head. These are the three o'clock in the morning moments that we've already talked about where you're gazing up at the ceiling, you're wondering what life is really all about. Who are you? How do you fit in? Oh my God, is this all there is? The three o'clock in the morning moments where you're scratching and itching around because you, you, you think there's got to be something more. What am I missing? Who am I? All right. This is why this chapter fascinates me so much. Gets us into our heads and into our hearts and it gets us to look at who we are. The quintessential question for chapter seven, I'm, I'm not even going to kid you, the essay, the essay at the end of this chapter, the essay is, who are you? Now think about that all the way through these lessons, and the lessons are going to get thick. They're going to get, they're going to get deep. It's going to get deep. Roll up your pants. Take off those good shoes. It's going to get deep in here. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. Uh, intrapersonal communication, the communication you have inside your head about yourself. About yourself, all right? It's not like, where do I want to go for lunch? It's not like, what movie do I want to punch on, you know, Netflix this time? Oh, no, no, oh, see, no, no, oh. It's about those things that keep us awake. Who am I? What am I? Why am I? All right? This is good. This is good. Chapter 7 also has everything to do with self-concept. And man, I tell you what, in the, in, in the lessons of the future, this week and next week, we are going to explore self-concept, where we get it and what it does to us, and how sometimes, how sometimes we have to reinvent. Look at the star model. Oh my gosh, Joe's wife, not again, the star, yeah, the star model, okay, the star model. It's super important, it undergirds most of the things we do, okay, all right, all right. And, uh, and I, didn't, I didn't even know that when I inventorized it, I didn't, okay, but look at the star model now. Pretend the tippy top, what you know, is just what you know now about who you are, about yourself, the tippy top of that star model, the upper apex, the, the tiny little bit up at the top. 
what you know about who you are, then that question mark, that question mark about what you don't even know that you don't even know, wow, does that suddenly become cool and super important. It's like, what you don't even know that you don't even know about who you are, why you are, how you are, okay? We get to explore that. We get to explore that. You know that's the next part of the star model. Go on a great explore, except this time you can't Googleize yourself. You can't plug it into some computer. You can't put your name in and, 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 and get an answer that pops out that goes, oh, well, well, Tony is this and this and this and th No, it's got to be done in here. Your exploration this time is not external on the computer. It's, it's not in books. It's not by listening to other people. It's in here. It's in here. Your explore this time is going to be internal. Listen, communication that you have with yourself, about yourself. Okay? Ooh, fun. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's going to be fun, because then we get to develop truth about ourselves. The next pinnacle in that star model, we get to develop a self-concept. Now this is going to be huge. Self-derived self-concept. Boy, I tell you more on that later, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you right now. You've got a lot of people in your world right now, a lot of people telling you who you are. You have a lot of people telling you what you are. They're pasting labels onto your head. They are. And you're letting them. It's time, really, quite frankly, it's time to... Ow! Ooh, it hurts. Ow! 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 It's time to reinvent. Self-concept is a self-derived truth about who you really are after intrapersonal exploration and wondering what you don't even know that you don't even know about yourself. <laughs> this will be fun! This will be... <sighs> Why not? Why not? Chapter 7. Who are you? Who are you? There's your assignment. There's your assignment. You know it's going to be the essay question after we study all this marvelous, marvelous uh, 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 stuff. So why not think about it right now? Your assignment for today, true story, is to think about this question. Who are you? Think. Think. And please... Get some sleep. Don't do it all at 3 o'clock in the morning. All right, you know I love you. You know I'm rooting for you. Got to keep your stick on the ice. Find, find the smile. And you can. After all, inevitably, life is good.